All right, guys, uh, next video here is to show you guys how to properly stain and spray paint um, our whatever projects we're working on. Uh, to start off, whenever we're staining or spray painting, same rules apply. We need to have safety glasses on, uh, sleeves rolled up, closed toed shoes on, um, and our jewelry taken off, which I have my watch and my ring taken off over here. Um, something to remind you guys, stain and spray paint do not come out of clothes. So if you get them on your clothes, it's staying there. So you need to be, need to be careful, okay? Um, so the two processes we're gonna be doing are the stain and spray paint. We're gonna find them in the back room in the yellow cabinets. Uh, we're gonna show you later in the video how to properly put things away so you'll know exactly where they are, okay? So start off with uh, stain. You grab the stain that you desire and you're gonna want to shake it up. Okay. If it's not shaken, it's going to have just a kind of like an oily look to it. Okay. Uh, one thing, make sure that the top is sealed. If I've, I've actually done this myself where I've shaken it, the top has come off and I douse myself in stain. So make sure that the, the top is closed. Once you have given it a good shake, you're going to use a screwdriver. We have a couple that are all kind of gunked up and stained up. You're going to use that to pry the top open in the stain container. Okay. So go ahead and go around the outside. Eventually the stain will, the top will just pop right off, okay? Next, we are going to be staining our cribbage board here. Um, you can use either a rag that we have in the back room in a brown paper bag, or you can just use the brown um, paper towels by the sink. But what we ask you guys to do um, is just dip your rag into the stain. Okay, you don't need a whole lot. As Mr. Singer says, less is more. Get a little bit on your egg, and you're just going to kind of dab it onto the wood and you're gonna rub it in. Rub it in, go with the grain. Um, some people do little circles, but the uh, best way to do it is to go with the grain. One thing with stain is that as you put one coat on, um, it may look darker than you want, but it might dry lighter. So we can always add coats after it dries. So again, I'm just dipping my, my rig into the stain and I'm just going with the grain, trying to get the entire board, okay? So that will be good for me. Now I will do all my finishing touches after the video to save time, okay? Mr. Harris, what do you suggest for the back of a project? Should you stay in the back of a project or keep it uh, natural? It really depends on the project. If you're doing something like the cribbage board where um, it might be picked up and, and looked at. You could stay in the back, but like the clock where it's gonna be against the wall, no one's ever gonna see the back. You don't necessarily have to, to stay in the back of it. Okay. okay. So that is staining. I'm gonna put this here. Next one we're gonna do is spray painting. We're gonna spray paint another cribbage board here. These are projects that were left over, so we're gonna make good use of them. Um, with spray paint, you're going to want to shake the can up. You can kind of hear there's a little ball in here that's rattling around you'll kind of know when uh, it is good and shaken. So when you do uh, spray paint, what you're gonna want to do uh, is, you don't wanna be right here really, really close, so that's gonna pool up and make it look bad. You wanna be, I would say, six to 10 inches away from your board, and you're just gonna kinda of go with the back and forth moving, movement like this. Kinda of come back again. Okay, and you can get your sides. And as you can see, I'm spray painting on cardboard. And I want to tell you guys where we're going to ask you to spray paint. Okay, since it's cold out, we are spray painting inside on cardboard. Um, and for the purpose of the video, we're in the main part of the shop. Normally, you guys would be spray, spray painting on cardboard over in the staining area. That is always where we stain and where we spray paint in the shop. When it's warmer out, we are going to ask you guys to take your um, your project outside with a piece of cardboard and spray paint on the grass. I want to say that again, on the grass. We're not spray painting on the concrete, on the door, on the wall, on the asphalt, on the dumpsters. The spray paint is only for your project on the cardboard, on the grass. That is a um, problem we've run into in the past. So I want to make sure that's nice and clear, okay? Um, and then your spray paint will take anywhere from a half hour to a couple hours to dry. So when you're done spray painting, if you're outside, you can carry your cardboard in and you can place your project on the dry rack, which is right over here. And we have them labeled by 
class and grade, so there's no confusion on where your stuff is supposed to be, okay? So last part of this video, after we're done spray painting and or staining, we need to put our stuff away correctly, okay? So with our stain, the uh, number one thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure you put the top back on and secure it. So when you secure or seal your top, you're gonna to wanna to take a mallet, a rubber mallet, or a hammer, and you're gonna to want to tap around the edge of the, the top of the can. You do not want to tap in the middle. What happens when you tap in the middle is it bows the lid, and the lid never actually seals, and the stain just dries out, and it's no longer usable. So I'm just gonna go around the outside. Uh, be careful as you do it. If you are worried about stains splattering out, you can always take a piece of paper towel, put it over, and then do this. That'll keep you from getting any kind of stain on you. Okay, spray paint, can uh, the top goes back on the can, okay? Once that's done, you're gonna take your spray paint and or stain, oh, and your rag, and we are gonna go back and we're gonna deposit the rag into the garbage can right here. And then the stain and spray paint go in this back room. Stain goes on here on the two stain racks. Spray paint goes up here, okay? Actually, this one's up here. We have the spray paints, polyurethanes, and then the stains down here. When you're done, we just ask you to close the doors. They're fire um, proof. And then, if you need to, you can deposit your gloves into the trash. One thing with the gloves, make sure you're not wasting these. These are not cheap, and we only have so many for the entire year. Okay, if you have any questions, please come see me or Mr. Singer.